Hey beautiful people, what is up? And welcome back to another recipe video. Today I'm gonna to share with you four delicious one pot meals with a tiny exception, but we'll get to that when I share that recipe. I wanna thank you so much for being here. I hope you get some really good meal ideas. You're inspired by watching this video. And if anything else, you're just a little bit entertained watching me in my element, doing what I love, being in my kitchen. So let's get started on today's recipes. Come on. The first recipe today is a chili recipe and I don't have one recipe for chili that I use every single time per se. I am someone who likes to dig in my pantry, find some corn, beans, tomatoes, and then dig in my crisper, see what vegetables I can have, throw it in a pot and call it chili. Now you do see a butternut squash here. I did decide to omit that from this recipe while I was cutting and chopping, and I decided to add a fourth recipe. chili is I feel like it's the best when it's left over. The flavors are just so much better. We also love to let our simmer on low for about an hour and really kind of get those flavors to come to life. Another thing with all the recipes I'm sharing today, you can add or take away water or broth depending on if you like thicker or thinner soups. I tend to like my soups a little bit more brothy, but it really just depends on the size of the pot I'm using. As you can see, this is kind of a smaller pot. I should have used a bigger one, <laughs> but I like to push the max on all of my pots and fill them all the way to the top. Of course, I rinse and drain my beans, and if you want this colander, I'll actually link it down below. I got it as a housewarming gift from a friend, but in the last video that I shared it with, a lot of you were asking where I got it from. It's just on Amazon, and I'll link it down below. This is my homemade chili seasoning. I will put the recipe down in the description box below for this. If you watched one of my Christmas videos where I was making gift baskets for friends, family, and neighbors, you may already have this recipe, but if not, I'll type it in the description box so you have it. I have been making like medium-sized mason jars of this chili seasoning and having it on hand, and I add about five tablespoons to my chili, and I just think it's so good. So excited to share with you this next meal comes from Green Chef. If you're new around these parts, my husband and I love Green Chef. For me, I am so happy with the fact that I have a meal service that I can be inspired by that is vegan and gluten-free. But not only do they have those options, they have a variety of lifestyle options when it comes to meals, including keto, paleo, gluten-free, vegetarian, Mediterranean, and so much more. If you have not heard of Green Chef, they are a certified organic company. Everything is hand-picked and delivered right to your door. I cannot wait to share with you this mushroom soup recipe because the expert chefs over at Green Chef curate over 35 different choices each week and you can have complete flexibility in your meal options and you can switch week to week if you'd like to try different things. Plus, they make cooking so easy. They work around your lifestyle, not the other way around.
for about eight months. I personally love them. For weeks when I'm really, really busy, I want to skip the grocery store, I want food delivered directly to my door, and when I need to be inspired with cooking, we all have those weeks you don't wanna make food, I have them too. But when I know Green Chef comes directly to my door, I'm so excited because cooking is a experience in my kitchen. It's really fun to pop open the bag, see what's inside, and of course, create new meals that I probably would never have thought of. They've also encouraged me in my own personal kitchen experiment to try different things, different flavors. If you're not new on my channel, Green Chef has been a huge benefit in me trying Trying different seasonings because I used to just be a salt and garlic person but their personal seasonings are phenomenal and they made me think hmm I actually do like a lot of flavor with my food make sure you guys check out Green Chef I will link it down below in the description box but also go to greenchef.us slash running on plants 130 use my code running on plants 130 to get hundred and thirty dollars off plus free shipping on your first box like I said, go to greenchef.us slash runningonplants130 and use my code runningonplants130 to get $130 off plus free shipping on your first box. Tell me this mushroom soup doesn't look divine. Now this was not a gluten-free option as you saw in the beginning. I added my own gluten-free flour. Everything else was absolutely gluten-free. I don't have celiac so I'm able to do that. If you are someone who's looking for gluten-free options, just click the gluten-free options available on your website. This third recipe is a vegetable pasta soup, and it was actually inspired by this root blend vegetable bag that I found at Walmart. It's beets, carrots, parsnips, and sweet potatoes. You could substitute for all of those without having to do a frozen bag, but I will say, I think that that frozen root blend would actually go perfect with the last recipe that I'll share. So I just grabbed some beans from my cupboard, some tomatoes, tomato paste, green beans, carrots, onion, and celery, and threw this together. And I actually made three out of four of these soups on the same day so we could enjoy them throughout the week. You have to be your biggest fan and when things are really tough and they're really rough and nothing's working but there's something inside of you that says i just have to follow that because you don't know who you're gonna be who you're gonna be who you're gonna be These are the seasonings that I used for this veggie soup, red pepper, garlic, oregano, paprika, basil, but of course you can add anything that you would like. And then for the pasta, I actually cooked it on the side because this was made as a meal prep, but if I was making this as a dinner, I would have cooked the pasta into the soup just to give it more flavor. But this was really delicious, super hearty, and I feel like it's the perfect cozy meal for a cold winter day. This last soup is only three ingredients. You're gonna need a butternut squash, about one pound of carrots, and about a clove of garlic. You can add less or more. I've shared with you a butternut squash recipe before, but I was super 
inspired when I was about to put this butternut squash in with my chili. I was like, wait, I have a lot of carrots. I could make a fourth soup. So I decided to go ahead and roast my butternut squash with my carrots in the oven at 475. And it took them about 40 minutes to really get to the roasting that I wanted. I wanted a touch of brown. I wanted them to be really tender and they were perfect. And then all I did was put them into my high speed blender with about four cups of water, a little bit of onion powder. And then when it was finished, I sprinkled it with rosemary. Technically, this is not a one pot meal, but if you have an immersion blender, I would actually roast these in a pot with a little bit of oil or a little bit of water, add your seasoning, and then add water to soften them and cook them, and then use an immersion blender. And just like that, you would have a one pot meal. I went a couple steps ahead. This recipe is worth it. Now, this is just a two serving recipe for my husband and I, because clearly it's just vegetables, and you can serve it with anything you'd like. If you have some bread, homemade or store-bought, or if you wanna serve it as a side or as a beginning to an entree, but it's so delicious, it's so flavorful. The carrots and the butternut squash complement each other so, so well. I wanted to quickly say thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you really enjoyed it, but also thank you so much for all the love and kindness over the past couple weeks. My dog Levi passed away a couple weeks ago and it has been extremely rough. I feel like how I cope is just to go on with life and kind of shut down a little bit. And losing both him and my dog Marcus in an eight month span has been incredibly painful. So many of you have reached out with kind and loving words and sharing with me that you understand the grief, the pain, that comes along with it. I'm just so thankful for this community and the love that you guys have shared with me, a complete stranger that you guys have not even met. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I, I just can't even say thank you enough.